Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are in Ireland or in England, I hope you're enjoying the snow day. I am, I'm actually loving these few days. So I said I'd take advantage of the fact that I'm at home and shoot a few videos that I've been meaning to do for ages. So I'm gonna start with a hair care video. If you follow me on Snapchat, Insta stories, I think, I don't think I mentioned it on Instagram, but basically since about April last year, I've experienced a lot of breakage in my hair and it was, it was weird for me because I've always had really good quality hair and I never really experienced breakage before other than at the ends of my hair. So what happened was I noticed all around kind of the crown of my head, it had started just breaking and a lot of my hair was gone really short um, and it would stick out. It, would, it just looked really bristly and broken. I was like, oh my God, how do I, how do I deal with this? Like I never had done any hair masks. I'd never really had to worry about it before. So, um, I started asking people, I started asking my hairdressers and was it, I thought for a while maybe it was the colour but I have been colouring my hair for years. I've always been getting kind of highlights, T-bars, mixing it up and I did go a little bit blonder and I think when you go a little bit blonder you have to you have to mind your hair a little bit more and you have to do the masks, you have to do the, take the steps to really take care of it. So I'm going to talk through seven tips that will help prevent your hair from getting damaged and just to like maintain the general health of your hair and I have seen, like I finally feel comfortable talking about it because I have seen a difference, finally. So I, like although it's not completely better yet, you can kind of see, so this is the gist of where like that was kind of the whole way around my head but now it's growing a bit longer and I can feel that it's stronger it doesn't feel like it's just going to continue to break anymore so I'm hopeful but um I'll just get into it so the first tip is to lower the heat on all of the hair tools that you use this might seem like a really obvious one but for me I just never thought about it I was using everything on the highest heat I thought if I use the hair dryer on the highest heat that would dry my hair faster I thought if I um, use a curler on the highest heat that I would get the best curl and that's not actually the case you don't need to be using the tools as hot as they go um, what I like about some like GHD for example have their tools set to a certain heat I think they have it set to 185 degrees which is like prime temperature for curling your hair but I have another uh, curler that I use that goes up to 230 and I was using it at that heat every time every day so of course that's going to affect my hair um, so I'll just show you now what I use. So I have, I use the InStyler a lot and I used to use that on the four bars of heat. Now I just use it on three and it literally curls my hair the exact same and it takes longer to heat, or shorter to heat up. Um, I use the GHG Creative Curl Wand. Just kind of depends on what mood I'm in and how long I have and what kind of a curl I want. But this one goes to the set heat of 185. I also use the Hot Tools Curler. This is the one that goes to 230. When you turn it on, it says the temperature here. Um, but you can literally just switch it down and I would suggest switching it down to 185 um, and see how you get on. You don't need it hotter than that. Hair dryer wise, I recently started using this Dyson hair dryer and I'd heard a lot about it before I got it and I really like it. It doesn't go half as hot as my other hair dryers but it just dries my hair twice as fast. It's all about the power I suppose. Um, I, I probably It probably takes five minutes less to dry my hair with this than it does with another hair dryer. Before I had the Dyson hair dryer, I was just using a regular Babyliss hair dryer and I used to use that on high heat so I switched that to medium. So for the past couple of months I was using it on medium heat and I think that makes a difference too because you really just don't need to be like burning your hair to dry it. Uh, especially when, like me, I dry my hair every day, I curl my hair most days. So. I definitely need to be just taking a little bit more care when I'm doing that. Okay, step two, I use two treatments after I wash and dry my hair. I use um, the leave-in repair from Kevin Murphy right after I come out of the shower. I literally just put some up here and you know for most treatments they say you're not supposed to put it up here but that's where I experienced the breakage, so that's where I put it. Um, and I found this really good. And then when, when I'm brushing my hair, I put in this um, Luna by Lisa Jordan, the Miracle Hair Treatment. And I actually love this. I find it so good. I've found such a change in my hair since I started to use it. My hair feels so much more glossy and just stronger when I dry it. Um, I would have been a bit cautious before about using any of these kind of things. I would have thought it would make my hair more greasy because naturally my hair is quite greasy, which is why I never really experienced dryness, but they don't. My hair feels so nice and so strong and healthy after I've used them, so I definitely recommend them. Tip three is to use a nourishing shampoo and conditioner, a nourishing and repairing um, 
shampoo and conditioner. I have colored hair, I have dry hair, and I have damaged hair. So that's kind of what I'm looking out for. I asked uh, my hairdressers in 01 what would they recommend for me. And I got this uh, Kevin Murphy Repair Me Wash. So it's kind of similar to the treatment, but this is the actual shampoo. Um, it says reconstructing, strengthening shampoo. So I like, and I have, since I started using it, I have, again, seen an improvement in my hair. And then for the conditioner, I use this Angel Rinse, which is for colored hair. So conditioner for fine colored hair. And I just think together it's a good combination. Tip number four is to do a hair mask. I do a hair mask now about once a week. I never used to do them. I didn't even really understand what they did before I experienced the damage. Sometimes now I'll sleep with it in and sometimes I'll just put it in for 10 minutes, 15 minutes before I shower. In terms of what masks I use, I usually use, there's three that I kind of vary between and I'll just, honestly, I'll just kind of pick by the day which one I feel like doing. So the first one is this uh, Bumble and Bumble While You Sleep Mask. So this one you put in your hair before bed. I usually just run it through my whole, all of my hair and tie my hair in a little bun and go to sleep. And like before oh, I had all this damage, I would have thought, oh, how could you sleep with that in? But it actually kind of dries up and it's not very like it doesn't disturb your sleep or it doesn't make a huge mess or anything um and i do like i find after this my hair is just so smooth and silky the second one i use is this marula oil one this one is filled with oil so it leaves my hair really silky and shiny and just in so much better condition after it i usually do this one overnight but i have done this just for like half an hour during the day as well so the third um, mask I use but it's not really a mask it's more of a treatment I wouldn't sleep with this in is the Olaplex step 3 so I would usually put this on for like 10-15 minutes before I shower and um, they use a similar one and where I get my hair done like it's a, a smart bond treatment that they use which it, they mix in with the color and just makes my hair a lot stronger and this is the same you're just maintaining the strength in the hair between getting your hair colored you're supposed to use it once a week and it's a small bottle but you only literally need a small bit of it for it to have the effect. My fourth tip is even if you've done all these steps and your hair just still feels a little bit dry, which sometimes happen me, happens to me if I've freshly washed my hair, is to use an oil, just use a few drops and put it in your hair. Um, I know for people who have greasy hair like myself, it can be a bit risky. So just literally use the bare minimum and it would make such a difference because what I found was when my hair was broken, what would happen is it would literally just stick out like this after I dried it. Um, and especially when I'm taking photos and stuff, you can really see it. So I found oil to be just a lifesaver for that. My fifth tip is to not tie your hair too tight and don't use like really big hair ties. I started using these smaller ones just because they're a little bit um, more kind to my hair. Because when you're tying it up, if you're tying it in the same place every day, you're putting um, pressure on that same spot every day and eventually that will start to break. And also when I'm going to sleep, I usually will kind of put it in a low ponytail or put it in a plait and that just saves breakage as well when you're sleeping. My last tip is, and I haven't started using them yet, but I definitely would, is supplements. So you can get supplements for your hair, skin and nails. You can get them just for your hair. Viviscal is a good one. Um, there's a few other ones that I've kind of seen, but I haven't tried again, so I don't want to recommend. But if you are experiencing a lot of breakage in your hair, there are supplements that will give you the vitamins and the nutrients you need to help your hair start growing and start getting stronger. I'm lucky now that I've, I have hopefully turned a corner. I've seen that it's kind of grown and it's getting stronger and I can feel that the quality is kind of coming back into it again. So um, hopefully these tips were useful for you if you're experiencing that as well. I think if you're dyeing your hair or if you're a blonde, we've all kind of experienced it at some point and all this weather doesn't help as well. Hope you liked this video. Let me know if you did and don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up. Thanks guys.